Act. Woo! Woo! Yeah. That is improv in the dark. It won't be pitch black, um, but it will be very, very dark. We encourage everyone to close their eyes and imagine what they'll be hearing, because we'll be doing this entire set. It's going to be all audio, just me and him doing voices, scenes, and sounds. Uh, this one was created at I.O. a long time ago, and I've loved it ever since. This is Thomas Silky Silk. That is Scott <laughs> Pettis. And uh, for a suggestion, you want to grab a suggestion, Tom? I would love to grab a suggestion. Uh, uh, in your head, if I could have you uh, start to think of the lyrics of your favorite song. You know, I, I keep in my head a, a couple songs on rotation. I'm constantly singing them. So if anyone could start singing some lyrics to their favorite song out loud. Is this the real life? <laughs> <laughs> is this just fantasy? Person, perfect. Is this just real life? Is this just fantasy is our suggestion? Uh, we are the Moomin. Thank you. Yeah. share a life. <laughs> My God, look at all these crops. They're going back into the ground. That's the, what I was saying. Archibald, this maze, this maze is reverting back to seeds. <laughs> <laughs> I was, sort of, I went to you because you're a science man. You do the science. <laughs> So science for me! <laughs> Archibald, I've, I've been in my laboratory experimenting with, with seismic rays. I... Oh, I see a gerbil over there. <laughs> stay back, stay back! What? What? It looks so cute and cuddly, I want to hold it. <laughs> That's a psionic gerbil. A psionic gerbil? Yes. What, is, what, is, what is a psionic gerbil? A psionic gerbil will kill you with one thought. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. Oh, no! Oh, no, you with your gerbil! Stay with me! It's looking right into my soul and running it from the inside! Close your eyes! Close your eyes! Don't look at him! God, listen to the sound of my voice. I'm blind now! Where are you? It's all right. I'm, I'm here for you. I would feed you corn, for it will help your sight, but, but how? It's going back it's into the ground! <laughs> <laughs> so do you have trouble getting your crops going? <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> well, you've heard of Miracle Grow. Now there's Miracle Grow the fuck up. Because <laughs> it's going to get fucking tall in your yard. <laughs> hey, hey there, Jimmy. <laughs> hey there, Mr. Dan. <laughs> Boy, that yard looks a little under the weather. <laughs> yeah, we've been, we've been fertilizing it and, and, and trying to give it encouraging thoughts to really make it grow really special and tall. That's so cute, little Jim. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. But you need harsh chemicals to make things grow. <laughs> yes, inside this cryogenically frozen tube is some of the harshest chemicals ever. <laughs> it's miracle grow the fuck up. Throw some of that on your yard, Jimmy. Throw some of it on now! Uh, why is it in a green canister? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should be handling it with gloves, but ah, uh, you're a scamp, you can handle it. <laughs> well, you're not supposed to let it touch your skin, but you know what, as long as it gets on the ground, we'll prove our point. <laughs> <laughs> it's burning my skin. <laughs> It'll do that if it touches skin, yes. All right, just get some on the soil there. I'll just wipe it here. <laughs> Shunk. Whoa! Shunk. Oh my god! Shunk. That's right, that's the most chemically engineered carrot you will ever see, Jimmy. Can I call you Billy Jimmy? <laughs> Oh, 
How was the moon? It was rather boring. I wish you would, I wish you would buy me something a little more sparkly. I'm sorry. All I could get was a trip to the moon. Oh. Elon Musk. Elon Musk got to be on Survivor. All we got was a trip to the moon. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps you could in, you could buy a, an entire planet. Oh, all right. That well, let's have a look at the planet catalog then. Hmm, <laughs> well, let's see. We've got, uh, oh, Pluto's been scratched out. Someone must have bought that one already. <laughs> let's see. Uh, I've always had an eye for rings. Oh, all right. So we've got Saturn. We've got, uh, I think Jupiter's got a few there. And, oh, Uranus. Of course. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> oh, I was thinking of an earlier time. Oh, 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 oh yes, right. Um, I mean, Saturn, that's, uh, I think, isn't that on uh, Candy Bar? Oh, no, that's Mars. Hmm. Well, if you like rings, hell, we'll put in an offer for Saturn. I think Ted Turner's been eyeing it, though. I used to fuck Ted Turner. What? <laughs> what? I'm just hearing about in space? Good. My goodness! My, was this before me? Stop your screaming, no one can hear you. <laughs> wow. My goodness. But yes, it was it was a long time ago. Back when he was supple and taut. <laughs> All right, you can stop going into detail. I'm starting to feel throw up coming in the back of my throat. The back of his neck looked like, oh, a, uh, like a golden retriever. It was... Uh, <laughs> why would that turn you on? Why would that be at all turning you on? The, the way he took his fingernails. All right. Gently, gently waft them through the air. I'm going out to the moon. I can't listen to this. Shhh! 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 Another husband dying. <laughs> well, I, I have to say that I personally thought that uh, the Journey to Mars movie, it didn't, it didn't quite hit me the way I wanted to do. Uh, I, I would have to give it two stars out of twenty. You, you're always so negative. <laughs> Well, two out of twenty? Yes. What scale are you using? <laughs> it's the twenty star scale that we've used for the entirety of this show. I want to use a different scale. Right, fine. Everyone can use. Fine. Let me hear what your scale is. Let's hear it. One or two. <laughs> That's your scale. One or two. One or two. I, I feel like you're not getting any nuance with that scale. There's plenty of new awards. I, I love Rush Hour 2. I'd give it a one. <laughs> wait, wait, so one is better than two? Wait, one is better than two? Wait, how does the scale work? You know, you know the film, The Shawshank Redemption? Yes, I know the film. I gave it 19 out of 20. That's a two. What the? So wait, which one do you... So you like it better? <laughs> that's, that's the whole point. People are like, oh, it's got two... Thumbs up, but I never said thumbs up. It's just a two. <laughs> and number one, that's the best. It's top. It's the top. It's so you're one. saying that? Let me get this straight. You're saying you like Rush Hour Two better than the Shawshank Redemption? <laughs> I have a whole new quarrel with you now. <laughs> Andy Dufresne. He broke out of Shawshank. <laughs> and he went to Salem. This is the post law or epilogue to the Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> I'm sure glad to be out of prison. <laughs> What took you so long? Well, your, your directions were shit. <laughs> the fucking wall, like, there's like 20 fucking walls in that city. <laughs> what do you expect? God. Hey, you counted every single brick? 
all the way to that tree. Yeah, and there's, like I said, there's 20 plus fucking walls. It took me, like, multiple tries to find the correct wall. And you're here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm finally That's here. Smart man. I'm fi man. I know I'm a smart man, and uh, you would think, with as smart as you are, you could like make some type of specific hey, direction. I, I wouldn't do anything that I didn't think you could solve. So you're just fucking with me? Was that? <laughs> it? Just, oh, let's let's make Red jump through some hoops. Let's see if he really wants freedom. Let's see if he really wants that. I mean, you. I think you, I do. Yeah. You did your time. You did your time. Yeah. You're out here. Yeah. Thanks for coming back for me. Also, now we're on the subject. I thought we were, I thought we were cool. I thought we were close. And, oh, yeah, oh, Andy's gone. That's great. What about old Red, huh? Red's fucking stuck in jail. Listen, we were a prison couple. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> Out here, I'm a different person. All that I said inside, I was manipulating you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're on a boat with no witnesses. I really want to hear your explanation. <laughs> I've killed before. This flintlock pistol has one shot in it. Since it's a flintlock pistol, they only have one shot in it. I know. <laughs> Very aware of what a flintlock is. I'll put this in the center of the boat. If you don't profess your love for me right now, I'm gonna kill you and throw your body overboard. We're already. Okay, I've just picked up the flintlock pistol, okay. so no, you're not here. Hey. Poor planning on my Yeah, way. you said it in the middle of the boat. I feel like if you were going to do that, you should have kept it in your hand instead of put it in the middle of the boat where I could grab it. Are you really going to... Oh, I'll shoot you. Yeah, especially after, you know, you were going to shoot me. That, that only seems reasonable. The only thing I wanted to shoot you was with my love. Oh. <laughs> I am not really going to shoot me. There's been a murder. Yes. Yes, there's been a murder. And I think it was you, Mr. Butler. onto a silver plate. Then the lights went out and boom! Magistrate Connors was dead. Decapitated? Yes, that's why his head is over there. <laughs> and don't kick, tell the dog to put it down. Put the head down, that's evident. Little Scruffy, I was a good golden. Who's a good golden? Put the head down. Put the head down. No, don't, don't run away with it. No, give me the head back. Scruffy, Scruffy, you give me the head down. Oh. <laughs> Fine. Well, I can solve it without the head. <laughs> How could it be little old me with my, my little white satin gloves and my, and my little nice shirt? I couldn't hurt a soul. They're red. Your, your gloves and your shirt are red. <laughs> They're both red. They, they were white when I got them. Yes, they, that's, be, that's because there's blood on them. What? Little old blood? If I touch your face, is there going to be blood all over it? Stop. Now I... Oh, why, oh, now I have to get my handkerchief out. See, watch my white handkerchief when I wipe the blood off of my face. <laughs> now it's red. <laughs> do you see that? So what are you going to do? <laughs> I'm going to arrest you. Good luck catching me. Take me, Golden Retriever. Wait. No. Give him to me. Come back. <laughs> oh, little Billy. Look at your garden. And your skin is sizzling nicely. <laughs> Billy, I'm sure you're wondering, hey, these are pretty big crops, but I wish they were taller, right? <laughs> Yeah, Kevin. <laughs> oh, you can call me an ambulance, Mr. Dan! <laughs> Leave the jokes to me, kid. <laughs> well, if you've heard of Grow the Fuck Up and Grow the Fuck Upper, this is Grow the Fuck Uppityest. <laughs> it's got a nuclear core, so you're gonna need to get in there with your feet, Kevin. There you go. Now I'm going to need you to bury that right in the middle of the garden. I'm going to be behind this blast shield. Okay. Oh, gosh. Kevin, can I call you Trudy? <laughs> uh, my hearing's going. That's normal. Oh, that's, 
that much radiation, I would be. It would be weird if it wasn't gold. Uh, I feel like I've tasted Sharpie. Whoa! But look at the <laughs> look at the crops. Whoa! I am a talking tree. Holy shit! <laughs> I have become sentient. <laughs> Monsanto has outdone itself. <laughs> Too long you have tried to reverse us. You have killed my brothers and sisters of the maze. Oh, oh, oh looks and like a now... mine is reaching around. Oh, I'm up in the air. Hi uh, there, Mr. Plant. <laughs> Hi. Are you oh, a vegetarian? A... Uh, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, that is a tight, tight grip, Mr. Plant. Well, I'm a carnivore. Oh, oh God, stop! Oh, 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 I, I think I, that scene to me uh, was definitely a uh, 27 and a half out of uh, three and three quarter stars. <laughs> I, that's what I would give it, and uh, I, I just wasn't buying it. Uh, the, the, the child's name changed like four or five times. I, I really think the script was weak. Let's fuck. <laughs> See that down there? There's, there's a, there's a plant. It's like shooting up all the way from Earth. Oh my God! It's like oh, it's, it's getting trying to... so big. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh my gosh! It's, it's huge. It's, it's pulsing. <laughs> oh my gosh! You can see the vines on it. <laughs> Gerables, welcome. We are psionic now. The Gerbil Council has taken over your pathetic planet. Grand Council, Mist Master. I what? was. That's your name. Oh. Sorry, I didn't say Council Gerbil, I just said Council. Miss Master. Council Miss Master. Council yes. Miss Master. I am Council Miss Master Brachio. And this is Council Miss Manistress. <laughs> Rico. <laughs> Do not be alarmed if other gerbils are breaking into your homes and imprisoning you in cages. They this mean, is normal. They mean all the harm. Absolutely <laughs> all the harm. The only thing we ask from you is complete servitude. That is not much to ask, I don't think. Now every single one of you will be giving a rating of either one or two. Wait, I, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait a minute, hold on, one, wait. Ones are a very special sort, they are the top they're the best. So the lowest star count is better than the highest star count? That makes very little sense. But twos? Twos, you have a special place in my heart, possibly even higher than one. Wait, so wait, so it is, so it was, so two is better than one. This scale confuses me. Grand Council, Miss Master. Yes, speak. I challenge you to a psionic duel. Oh, I see. Well, let us get our flintlock pistols then. <laughs> Ten paces. Oh, how about one or two? 